Welcome to Hygiena's instructional video on Allerflow Gluten, an environmental gluten residue kit. In this video, we will cover product details, storage and shelf life, and how to properly collect a sample, transfer sample to the lateral flow device, and interpret results. Allerflow Gluten is a rapid and convenient test for the detection of gluten residue on food processing surfaces. Allerflow gluten is specific to the toxic fraction of gluten from wheat, barley, rye, and oat, with no cross-reactivity with soy, rice, or corn. Unlike other kits that contain several components, Allerflow gluten consists of only two parts, a sample collection device and a lateral flow cassette. The sample collection device's pre-moisten swab bud enables a reliable sample collection for accurate results. In Hygiena's patented snap valve is a pre-measured extraction buffer that provides consistent results with minimal handling. Allerflow can detect down to 5 micrograms of gluten and results appear within 10 minutes. By delivering an efficient and cost-effective specific gluten residue test, Allerflow can fit into any allergen control program. Allerflow devices have a shelf life of up to 15 months and may be stored at room or refrigerated temperatures. Now let's get started. Allerflow is a two-step test. The first step is sample collection. Allow the Allerflow sample collection swab to acclimate to room temperature before testing. Write the location on the swab tube using permanent marker. Twist and pull the swab out of the tube. Swab a 4x4 inch or 10x10 centimeter square area in a crisscross pattern, swabbing the area with even coverage. When swabbing an irregular surface, ensure the swabbing technique remains consistent and swab a large enough area to collect a representative sample. Apply sufficient pressure to create flex in the swab shaft. This maximizes sample collection to improve the accuracy of test results. Be sure not to touch the swab shaft when collecting sample. Touching the swab shaft contaminates the test and will produce inaccurate results. Rotate the swab tip while collecting sample to ensure maximum sample recovery. As you can see in this image, rotating the swab ensures the entire swab tip picks up sample resulting in more accurate results. Reattach the swab back onto the tube and firmly seal the device. Activate the device by holding the device in your fist and using the thumb and forefinger to break the snap valve by bending the bulb forward and backward. Squeeze the bulb twice to release all liquid to the bottom of the swab tube. Gently massage the bottom of the tube by squeezing the tube two times. Gently shake for 3 seconds. This will help release the sample from the swab bud and mix the sample in the liquid. The second step is transferring to the lateral flow device. Remove the lateral flow cassette from the foil pouch and place it on a flat surface. Write the location on the cassette using a permanent marker. Remove the swab from the tube. Carefully tip the tube over and pour the liquid into the sample fill well on the cassette until the cavity is full. Allerflow gluten detects down to 5 micrograms gluten within 10 minutes. Disregard any color change after 10 minutes. A negative result is indicated by a single blue line at C for control. This means the sample contains less than 5 micrograms of gluten and the surface is safe for production. For a positive result, in addition to the blue control line, a red line will also appear at T for test. This means gluten residue in the sample exceeds 5 micrograms and the area should be re-cleaned and retested until a passing result is achieved. The intensity of the red line will depend on gluten residue present in the sample. If a blue line does not appear, the test is considered invalid. Repeat the test with the new lateral flow device. Used devices may be discarded in the trash. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Hygiena with the information on the screen. With 24-7 customer service and technical support, Hygiena is here to help.